Yeah. We need to up our game and shit. We need to do comedy butt naked. Right. Yeah. Yeah. His goodbyes. He blew his eye socket off and his uh, eyeball fell out. White women keep kidnapping us. <laughs> Y'all seen the blind side? Aren't you uh, glad we have that disclaimer? Uh, at the beginning glad, of the yeah, episode. I'm, I'm, it's gonna come in handy for this episode. This week's episode of The Voice Party is brought to you by Big Boy Raps. Get your car wrapped by some of the most experienced and skilled in the Bay. Big Boy Raps, where the big boys play. All right, everybody. Who's ready for The Voice Party? 200th episode! That's what I'm talking about. Thank you guys so much for coming out to celebrate 200 episodes of The Voice Party. We got a hell of a show for you today. So first, let's give it up for the cast of The Voice Party. Introducing first, he is your favorite encyclopedia for information that nobody really cares about. He's not Mexican. He's not Puerto Rican. He's Black Joaquin. All right, next to the stage is your favorite lesbian-looking lead singer. His band, Tomorrow's June, hasn't gotten any bigger in the past five years, and he's the host of Two Nuts, One Sack. Give it up for Marcos Molinar. Next to the stage, this man loves big, beautiful foreheads all across the nation. He has opened up for Eddie Griffin, and he is the funniest person on the podcast, allegedly. Give it up for Corday Snell. And your host of The Voice Party. He is the star of the award-winning film, Unhealthy Comedian, available on Amazon Prime. Give it up for J.D. Arandia. What's up? What? Oh, oh, oh! What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? I, oh yeah! I just want to say this looks a lot different than we yeah. <laughs> anticipated having this many people. Yeah, I'm nervous now. Fuck! Like, <laughs> what you nervous for, dude? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Thank you guys for coming out. You guys, yeah. uh, make some noise if you listen to the show. What Hell person? yeah! That's yeah. like 30 people that listen every month. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Make some noise if you don't listen to the show. Be honest. <laughs> Be honest. <laughs> Be honest. You better start listening now, all right? <laughs> we know Wait. who you are. Can we just could we acknowledge the fucked up situation that this is right now? <laughs> are you saying that because you're a lesbian? What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I forgot to drop a couple pounds, okay, before the episode. Oh, my God. It's also, make Halloween. some noise for Phil. There you go. Yep. That's the guy. World's most amazing producer. So it's it's a weird thing. It's, it's, uh, this is a 200th episode. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done 200 of anything. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure I've ate 200 chickens in my lifetime, but never 200 like 200 sit-ups, like no, no. nothing. <laughs> Have you done 200 no. of anything? Yeah. What? Push-ups. That's a fucking <laughs> lie. That's a fucking Not lie. Not anymore. Okay, you haven't fucked. Yo, never mind. I ain't gonna go. On like this. in a row? <laughs> no, like no, over a span of, of row, two of years, not. dude. What, what's something that you guys have done two hundred of? You could shout it out right now. Two hundred. Fuck, fuck their partner. What? <laughs> what? <Pounds>. Okay. <laughs> you've done two hundred pounds. That what do you mean stupid. you've done a blow or what? Cocaine or? He's fucking two hundred pounds. Yeah. Why'd you look at me? <laughs> it's a lot. You're fucking balling. Yeah. Post COVID cocaine is different too, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it got Why'd you look it? at me? Because <laughs> you're the oh, sober. Oh, recovering. How many years sober? <laughs> Make some noise for what? What is it? What? How many years sober now? Oh, one year sober. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Thank you. That's why all the coke dealers have available cocaine right now. Yeah. <laughs> Pussy. There's a lot more to go around now that I'm not using anymore. <laughs> One would question the wisdom of us, hold, of us holding this in a bar, right? Yeah. But yeah, whose dumbass idea was that? Not mine. Oh. oh. Temptation is a motherfucker, dude. That's why we're trying to... Yeah. Red Bulls. Shout out to everyone that bought me a drink right yeah. when I stopped drinking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is They're this, all here. Is this yours, too? These are all mine. <laughs> Don't steal mine, dude. I want this, all right? Cool. And I'm the addict. <laughs> <laughs> my, my addiction is food. Yeah. 
Have you guys seen Unhealthy Comedian? Three? <laughs> By the way, have you guys seen the film Unhealthy Comedian? Yeah. Yeah. Now streaming on Amazon Prime. It's the only documentary about uh, health and fitness where the guy doesn't lose weight. <laughs> It's a great plot twist. And in yeah. fact, he we, gained weight afterwards. <laughs> we, we had this uh, movie review podcast, like review our, review the movie. Yeah, some strangers. And they were like, hey, you know what we love about like the twist of this is that like he actually <laughs> didn't like reach his goal. And we thought that was a cool twist on the movie. We're like, they found their whole twist. <laughs> like, that wasn't intentional. He just Whoa, like, it's so poetic. He yeah. just stays fat. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's no, art. It's <laughs> art. Gritty realism. You get a couple shots of JD being like, I'm scared I'm going to have a heart attack. And then him eating a bunch of fucking food afterwards. <laughs> like, he doesn't care that much. Oh, yeah. uh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little rough. This is not, this is not going how I planned, Marcos. Yeah. You know, I, I, I got to say this. Like, this is like the coolest thing because it's a weird thing for me because like, I'm hella proud of everything we've done. We've had like some milestones that we just recently hit. But like the other day, my niece, her and I, we go back and forth roasting each other. And, and her biggest comeback to one of my things was like, yeah, you're 33 with a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, like I have nothing. Like that shit hurt. You should be like 200 episodes, bitch. <laughs> 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 the fuck have you done, huh? Yeah, Play, you fucking kid. Make sand castles? That ain't. You've <laughs> been alive for five minutes, kid. <laughs> 200 episodes and 200 views. 200, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Stop. Thanks We're getting that guy. loyal listener, yo. Yeah. And five of those was my mom. Yeah. <laughs> Do, and, do any of your guys' parents watch The Voice Party? Of course not, dude. Yeah, mine don't either. And they're in the back. Yeah! Oh. Actually, I, this, is, I, this is actually a thing. If there's like an episode that I'm like really excited about, I'm like, it'll, it'll be like late at night when I come home, and I'm like, Dad, you have to watch this with me. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like poor oh, thing fuck. is like dozing oh, off shit. on the couch. He's like, I really don't give a fuck, He's like, just dude. take out the trash. <laughs> just take out the trash, Marcos. Yeah. Mar Marcos, what was your most recent episode that you were super excited about? Do you want to tell us about that at all? You know I don't know. I, mean? I don't know if we can say his name. Oh yeah. He might, he might be in the room tonight, but <laughs> does he I have did... something to do with like basketball? Something about being like an all star or anything like that? Huh? <laughs> were you freaking out on the podcast when you like? Did you have a hard on when you found out he was gonna come on? I will tell you. My it... bad. You're a lesbian. Did your nipples get hard <laughs> when you found out he was coming on? It took me three days to stop shaking. I know. <laughs> you dominated the podcast that day. We were yeah. Well, I was like, Marcos, calm down. He was like, no, I worked so hard and prepared for this episode. He Sorry, got, what were you saying, sir? Hold on. Because you were asking, he was asking stupid ass shit, like, about my band. Who gives a fuck about my band? We had one of my idols hey, in Whoa, whoa, don't point at him. Don't oh, point sorry. at him. Yeah, exactly. We had one of my idols in the <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry, bro. Because I'm, I'm trying to get him to calm down from his fandom. Like, hey, you know, while you're, like, salivating over this other band, why don't you plug your other band? He's like, who gives a fuck about my band, Corday? Like, yo, 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 your brother's your bandmate. Come exactly, on now. Right? I was like, your brother's going to listen to this, all right? Your parents will not listen to this, all right? And, he had, and you know, bands are broken up for less, man. I know, right? I'll tell you what. I give his band more streams than mine. <laughs> Damn. Hey, no lie. Can I, I? I'm sorry to sing you out. Were you at one point scared? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's Zach Porter right there. Yeah. That's the guy. That's the guy. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Yeah. No, it's not often that you get to interview your hero. Yeah. No, no. And here's the thing, right? Yeah, I freaked out a little bit. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> A little bit? Just a tiny bit. Whatever. David's looking at me like I always that freak like out in front of celebrities. That's like you saying you get a little bit of rehab. That's the same thing. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. the black dude in your band? That oh. is the black dude oh, in my okay. band. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's so true. All right. <laughs> but, okay. So, JD's making fun of me the whole time. And then we go meet his idol, Felipe Esparza, yeah. a week later. And I inter he interviews him. He's freaking the fuck out. Yeah. I have 30 minutes of. 
did he sweat off some pounds? And he's like, he's kept, like I, hey man, give me a good clip. I kept doing this. <laughs> if you think JD is sweating a lot now, you should have seen him with Felipe. Like, I, I, I never rivers, sm- right? I never smoke weed and homie offered me, I was like, fuck it. Like, you know what? Mm. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. He was might have COVID, it? might have herpes. I fucking took hits. Would you rather have herpes or COVID from uh, Felipe? I'd rather have herpes. No, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, folks. I mean, I was with you for a sec, but... I already got herpes, so you, fuck you. Yeah. Damn, I'm not going to say that. 200th episode exclusive. Would you rather have herpes or COVID from Mr. Porter? Oh, it's a good one. I mean, I mean from uh, which weekend. one do you have? No, I'm t- we already know which one. I already know which one. It starts with an S. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Ask him a hard one from a different person. <laughs> from a different person. Yeah. Oh, whatever they're willing hey, to give oh, you. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta ask you. Has he texted you ever since that day? <laughs> wait, don't wrap me up. Okay. Oh wait, I did. I did. What time I, wait. did he text you at? Was it midnight? <laughs> Hey, I just want to thank you he for was coming outside. on the podcast. He, no, I Are said, you up right now? <laughs> I was like a, hey, you up? <laughs> hey, hey, Mr. Porter, you, you look really nice going to work nice. today. <laughs> He's texting WYD. <laughs> no, I did send an apology text. I was like, I'm sorry for bombarding you with like a shit ton of questions. And I realized like we did bring up like stuff he probably didn't want to talk about because yeah. we noticed that he got a yeah, lot more excited when we started talking therapy. about teaching and i was like fuck <laughs> i fucked that up <laughs> i was like it's too late already. it was like a CIA I bombarded him for 30 minutes i couldn't do anything about it, it like, M- mr porter do you have all of a sudden a new foreign exchange te- uh student in your class all of a sudden like <laughs> Like, who's this Mar- lesbian? Marquise. Marquise. <laughs> You're Marquise like, <laughs> Montanato. <laughs> You're like, what 14-year-old is tatted up like crazy, man? Parents are giving permission for everything these days. Yeah. I think I smelled alcohol in this mm-hmm. breath. What's going on? I'm sending you to the Hope principal, not. young man. He's trying to ask me if I had office hours. <laughs> <laughs> what time is your last class over, dog? <laughs> No, I do not give out detention, okay? <laughs> Let's change the subject. I, I'm there sorry. I wouldn't mean to go. single you out. <laughs> but, you know, if you want to join a band again. <laughs> or if you want to start a new band, Marcos oh. will dump his. That's, uh, I got you. He <laughs> already left his band for this. Exactly. Yeah. Like, the bar is so low, dude. <laughs> wait, wait. This is this is how willing I am to start a new band with you. I'll play the Mar- bass. Marco, stop. Marco, stop. <laughs> Marco, stop. That's stop. He left that life alone, dude. He's not even on any social media. You can't even contact him. That's oh, like, shit. You played bass, too, huh? Mm-hmm. My bad. <laughs> Can I be your backup bass? <laughs> now I'm Double rusty, man. <laughs> I, was, I was looking Fuck through your God. window, and I saw you play bass. <laughs> <laughs> You got me shaking again. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I can play tambourine. Play the tambourine. I can play tam. Yeah. We got we got some uh, we got some special guests here for you guys too. Yeah, yeah. Let's give it up for him. Let's give it up for him. Give it up for him. Oh, yeah, guys. everyone in that VIP section. Just sitting there waiting for us. Are you ready? <laughs> hey. All right, you guys will be on in 20 minutes. So yeah. <laughs> we just had nah. to help JD uh, stop. Shaking. Stop sweating so much. Yeah. Uh, Marcos has to stop shaking, dude. Like you, uh, but the thing is, like, when you in front of these lights, dude. Yeah. It's like putting butter outside in the sun. You know, like that's <laughs> what it does. To okay, me. for you. Baby. For you. Yeah. <laughs> you guys <laughs> ever heard of high blood pressure? Yeah. <laughs> like the JD, I'm bigger than you. I'm not even sweating. I know you're so, wearing a jacket. Uh, so I'm, and I have a jacket on, dude. Yeah. So. I, it's, there's a high blood pressure. <laughs> that's like I said. <laughs> like, I'm melting. Oh, what a world. What yeah. A world. So, um, I, I, we brought on three comedians that have been on the show multiple times. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We make, make some noise for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one, first one coming up, a very good friend of ours. He runs shows all over the Bay Area and in L.A. Very busy guy. Make some noise for Arturo Regoza Jr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up, everybody here in Richmond? What's going on? You good? Yeah. 
Don't Tyler. make eye contact, bro. Uh, Don't make eye contact. I want to talk them. to. They're they, uh, scaring me. I just, <laughs> I, I, they look friendly from over there. Now I can tell some of them have cases. This is different. <laughs> this is a whole different area. I Welcome to Richmond, bitch. Hey, uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do three minutes, and I'm out. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Wise. <laughs> I want to. I want to. Br- I have to bring this up. It's crazy how the timing of you saying in you're you're trying to mention he's recovered and someone brings you a drink immediately. That's right. it's kind of. Oh, weird. he just offered you one. Yeah. No. Next. No. Though someone brought you a drink and oh, they're right in front of you. That's, that's, oh, yeah. I was like, oh my god. I was about to say, hey, I no. gave up on it's big ass test. titties. <laughs> I was like, I recently gave up on big ass titties. So if anybody wants to throw some what of those the? in front of me, that'd the be amazing. What the fuck you do that for? What the fuck? <laughs> you gave up on big ass titties or what? <laughs> I was just so they bring them out now. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> so, uh, ladies, uh, any big-ass titties in the room? Uh, well, you just, just gave up on him. He needs to be te- tempted. <laughs> you just be tempted. You just gave up Go on big-ass right. titties, uh, and yeah. you accepted my invitation right away? <laughs> They're hard to break. Habits are hard to break. <laughs> Oh my God! We haven't seen each other in a long time. It's been a minute, man. And you, okay? This we is we still like each other though. It's well, okay. yeah, yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> We're settling the beef here yeah. tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Why you when you first hit me up, I was like, "This is a fake account." <laughs> like, it was like a headshot with you a pretty you're face. You thought you were catfished? I was like, yeah, this is some, this is like someone from the Middle East trying to like get me for money or some shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, there's no way. And then he's hella nice. I'm like, he's a serial killer. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this. Jury's still it's out. like we'll Mexi- <laughs> Mexican Ted Bundy right here. <laughs> yeah, dead on. Dead, hey, he's spot on. You got to laugh about that. Don't feel bad. Come on, man. I grew up in a Mexican family. You get made fun of out the womb. You understand that? Like, we're good. What was your nickname? Uh, nickname? Oh, in, in school? No, in growing up. Growing up, oh, I had a few of them. Melky, Melky was one. What? I was what? very what? light. I was very light skin. skin. Yeah. I looked crazy. When oh, I, I thought that was because of the big titties. When no. I was. <laughs> No, that's how I kept the nickname. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There that's you go. We, yeah, yeah. That's how you maintain it. You understand that? You know how you flip something and make it good? I was like, oh, you want to call me Melky? Watch this shit. <laughs> Watch me walk around with these milkers all the time. <laughs> Is that what you call them, ladies? My bad. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was, it was actually Melky. I, I was a weird looking kid when I was younger, man. I, I, I was very light skinned. I had sharp ass fangs. I had a mullet. It's a lot of stuff going on, man. Here, it was weird. You have g- silver teeth? No, but uh, uh, my boo. parents didn't think that. <laughs> I, That's the Mexican rite of passage. You can't okay. say. Have you a, can't have a mullet without silver teeth, bro. <laughs> that's, your, that's a Mexican You guys know what drill. I'm talking about, right? Fucking Temerarios comes to mind right away. <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. C. C. <laughs> So what? Uh, so Milky and you had a mullet. <laughs> so oh, yeah, I had a been... mullet, dog. It was weird. One of my best friends tells me the first time I seen you, you were terrifying, and that's how he remembers me as a person. You sound yeah. more like a vampire than like very anything. much, like, very light skin, long hair, fangs. Only yeah, comes out. Were... <laughs> but with the mullet, I was like a only comes out at vampire. night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see you like on the like on those like uh, a knockoff version of like the Twilight series, like on the CW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's me. Yeah. The Mexican Not Twilight. necessarily the Mexican version, like just like the like the really Telemundo low, version. Yeah, yeah, Telemundo the version. Telemundo Twilight Zone. That's Welcome Twilight to Zone. Welcome the Twilight Zone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You fucking pussy. Like it's like <laughs> the, the East LA episode. <laughs> yeah, he, the whole time he's just hitting his hands together while he's talking to you. Why he's is got he a Dodger vamp- jersey? <laughs> Why are these vampires tatted up? <laughs> This is one credit on IMDb. (laughs) He sees a floating flannel. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my heart. (laughs) Hey, so how... Remember we talked about... He's going to get mad right now. How was it opening for Bill Burr? (laughs) (laughs) It was awesome, bro. Actually, I don't know if you know this. By this time, the story is that motherfucker featured for me. You understand (laughs) that? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, and some of these people, because, you know, like 30 of you listen to the show. Uh, <laughs> I'll keep it very short. Uh, I get, look, at, listen, you got to learn sometimes in life when you something good happens to you, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anyone. It, it's not worth it. Uh, I did a show where I basically got a guest set with Bill Burr in L.A. Bill Burr's a big deal. It was cool. I got excited. I told a few people, just a few. One of those people I told, the next show I did, they were hosting, and they told everybody, this person is featured for Bill Burr. 
And I had to answer questions for two weeks for that shit. Hell yeah. People were like, oh, you featured for him? I was like, no, it's not what I'm... Oh. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey <laughs> can you crazy. text Bill Burr for us? Like, it turns into that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, are you, yeah. like, are you going on tour with Bill Burr now? Are you guys best <laughs> friends now? I, I, I might let him on my tour place bus. For the holidays? <laughs> I might let him on my tour bus, but yeah, man, that was it was heartbreaking. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's it sucks to like. Have does that to tell ruin the relationship? I'm not at that all? cool. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. But does that ruin the relationship at all? Like with you and Bill? Oh no, no, he's actually been <laughs> like, very nice to me. Yeah. I think as he forgets who I am every time yeah. I meet him, but it's pretty dope. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> he's very nice he, to me. He calls him things. Billy. Hey Billy, how you doing? <laughs> And he's like, uh, who are you again? <laughs> this it's dude like, keeps coming it's like, it's like you and Mr. Porter. <laughs> yeah. No, who was it last night? Uh, Gordo? Uh, no. Uh, Gordo Mamon. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, there's another comedian. From, um, and so, I said hi to him after a show. And he was like, hey, man, Gordo. I'm like, yeah, I've met you like six times. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, have we? I was like, yeah. No, like, definitely. <laughs> you got to do like, that just, to some people. You got to do that to some people. Yeah. But it just sucks because I get forget everywhere. So like, oh. I like the most forgettable face, and it's like I finally have come to terms with that. That's why you got the neck tattoos. Like, yeah, you're gonna remember yeah. this shit. <laughs> and the eyeshadow. That's nice. Nice. <laughs> eyeliner. And he also, eyeliner. I like, I like that his T-shirt is basically my grandmother's wallpaper. This shit is beautiful. <laughs> Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I will remember you. Okay. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I. What's your name, though? I, 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 hey, wallpaper. What's up, man? Ain't seen you in a while. Just, just call me wallpaper. Hey, Wally. Wally. What's up? Yeah, Wally. Every time I see you, I, I always think that I'm gonna call my grandma. <laughs> grandma, the '70s are over. Bro, that sounds yeah. gonna start. I'm gonna be on stage one day. My name is Wally Molinar, and uh, they're gonna be like, "Where the fuck did you get that, dude?" There's a comedy show one day. It was, I just keep wearing shirts that make me want to be a better grandson. That's what I like. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be yeah. honest. I haven't talked to you in a long time because I had to cancel on you. It's okay. <laughs> what? Oh, you were nervous. You got that cancel nervous shit? No. Bro, no, I just. Is that what it is? Because I've done that before. No, I just canceled, canceled the show because I was sick. Yeah, but you you think that I feel some yeah. way about it? Dude, I don't give a fuck, dog. I will have you know who I am. Show. Oh. <laughs> he turned it around. The show was ruined. He went from he went from being guilty to Scarface. He was like, you know who the fuck I am? I fucking put you in a shower. You heard of the game. voice party, dog? No. <laughs> But no, yet. for real though, it's a weird thing whenever I have to like cancel or something, you know? Yeah. I, I can't look at that person for like... And now you have to stare at me in front of people. This is <laughs> <funny>. <laughs> Brother, I don't care. If you need to cancel, I understand life is life, bro. Anybody who gets mad at you for having to cancel, they haven't been through shit. <laughs> like, but yeah. what if he's canceled like six times? Uh, now you then, like, then it would change. Then yeah. I'd be like, come on, man. We got to yeah. figure something out, man. <laughs> all right, I got a question for all three of you guys. So I should cancel Tinder then. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, since you you got Bill Burr under your belt, right? Oh shit. You got uh, you under got your Billy. under my belt. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Billy. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. I didn't mean it like Which that. Which under my in, belt is a weird thing to say. Where did that it, come yeah, from? Yeah. Yeah. Now that is I think that about someone that. sucks your dick? They're under no, my belt. No, no, that's weird. No, he's, no, no. I'm just. He's, he's, he's a lesbian. Just, just as a saying. No, 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 no. I was just examining the saying, not you. Keep going. All right. So Bill Burr. It's usually Billy Best Skills, right? Eddie Griffin. Yeah. Do you guys go up to other local comics and be like? Yeah, I'm fucking better than you. Like, uh, is that does that pop into your mind ever? They already know. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. The only, the only time we would have to say that is if they don't. <laughs> That's got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Nah, nah, man. I, I, it's one of those things. Like, you know, does it go to your head at all a little bit? Ah, man, we all feel even even if we. Eat, any kind of success that we get to, we still Speak know for yourself. how we have no feels. success. <laughs> we, st like, we still know you ain't shit. You know what I right. mean? To, to me. Like, right, I'm right. Like, I look at myself in the mirror, you ain't shit, dog. Just keep trying. Right. Keep Even me? Thing. No, I'm just gonna, I'm, I can't. Especially, Especially you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, no, because I mean, looking for validation through other people, fucking, I don't want to sound like a TED talk, but that shit's fucking stupid. Yeah. I was excited. I liked it. I could have not Everybody told do this right now. Everybody do this. I know, yeah. <laughs> You know what I hate, dog? I, okay, look, I don't want to... If I ever have a set that's not going well, it doesn't not go well. It's just inspirational, and I don't like it. <laughs> it makes me very frustrated. It's practice. Mm -hmm. I remember one time I did a show when I was first starting out. It was kind of funny, but I was saying stuff, and I remember a guy being like, hey, dude, what you said inspired me to want to call my dad and reconnect with him. And I was like, man, fuck you, dude. I was trying to make you laugh. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> you just told me I bomb in a really good way. I don't want this shit. <laughs> That out of my face. Bro. I decided I don't like comedy no more. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
looks like I it's just, not what, a TED what, talk. What's, <laughs> we, I don't think we've asked you the worst bomb story. Is that is that the worst Ooh. bomb story? Oh, uh, yeah. I've had a few. So, um, I, okay, worst bomb story. Okay, awesome. Went into a show, uh, and this, thank God, it happened early. It was at Tommy T's, and, you know, Tommy T's is a cool spot. But I was doing a, I was doing a show there, and I don't bring ever. I don't. I'm not a bringer person. I've never done it. I just... Perform. I I just, when, especially in the beginning when you're not good, I feel like I'm not going to make you fucking spend gas money to come see me. I'm not mm-hmm. that good yet. <laughs> so in the beginning when I started, but I had friends who are stalkers. They mm-hmm. found out I had a show. Mm-hmm. You might be one of my friends. I just don't know it yet. But yeah. <laughs> but, like, but like it came to my show. It blends in, in the wallpaper. And it, was in the, <laughs> it was a worst case scenario because like I didn't even know they were there until I was stepping on the stage. Ooh. You know that? Where like you barely remember your jokes when you're first starting, right. and I'm walking and they go, "Hey, what's up, Art?" And I was like, Fuck. <gasps> and I went on stage, bro. I was half doing jokes, I was forgetting punchlines, and then I was getting some laughs. But at the same time, I was like, "They are never gonna forget. This didn't go well." <laughs> like, have you ever had sex with someone you were excited to have sex with, and you didn't perform to your optimal level? <laughs> Every and time. you know you're hoping for a second chance. Like, it's like, yeah. like it happens to people sometimes, man. I, like, as another is. example, it's kind of like when I went to go get a physical done and the doctor cut me in the balls and then I saw what? her in the cafeteria eating a sandwich with that same hand. <laughs> and we made eye contact. I was like, I did that shit. You know, like, oh, dude. Yeah. It was like an extra. It was like a scent, like extra thing. You, she was pairing the scent of your nutsack with her sandwich, bro. <laughs> she does that every lunch. I was I like, like I hope you wash your hands. <laughs> she didn't, bro. It's, it's kind of like a weird feeling. Like yeah, a weird feeling. Yeah. And dude, I don't. And the thing that sucks, I don't really have bad sets too often. Whoa, 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 that whoa. shit is whoa, 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 whoa. This isn't for bragging here, bro. No, I've, okay, I've had mediocre sets. Those happen. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm yeah. talking about a bad one. Like a, yeah. I'm talking about where it's not going good. Oh yeah. That yeah. one is with me forever dude like, what, what's bad for well, you I was to say what's a sign what's like a too much sign? friction and it's getting like burns and shit or what what's oh wait on? like in the set in yeah. the set's going wait or, or oh we're talking about oh. wait what? did I oh hold on wait I thought we were did talking I? about sex okay this is a bad time to mention I mumble and I might have said sex and I might have sound like I said sex I'm so I thought you were talking about sex this entire time I thought you said sex I thought you were saying sex, dude. I was so, like, oh, this I is I was turn? envisioning this, this whole fucking story Whoa. in my head. He's like, I'm, 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 I'm going to be all like, well, you had mediocre sex. So, I'm like, all right. So you just this pretty for no reason? That's where we're at. Then he was talking about friction. He, got, he was like, well, friction with what? The mic? Like, <laughs> I don't know where you going with this, JD. Like, I don't. Hey, Arturo. I was so confused when you said it was balls and hey, Arturo. sandwiches and. Yo, bro. <laughs> Woo! You should say, co- say comedy next time. I'm so glad I cleared that up because yeah. everybody would have left here like, God damn, that guy was so okay, open. Okay, but can you, can you still tell us, though? So open. <laughs> That's like, can you still tell us, though? No. Like, well, wait, sex or sets? Sex. sex. Okay, sex. Well, I mean, I, I guess sex What's now. It? Fuck it, you know. Ah. We're That's here. what I want to know now. Okay, here's a sign if it's not going well for anybody. If he's changing positions way too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's not going well. Because that's, it's, it's, just, it's similar, like, it's just like comedy. If we're not having good sex, we'll just change jokes up, yep. hoping we're going to fuck with work. It's like when you're in the same yeah. situation. Right, we, right, right. If he goes through the Karma Sutra and it's been 10 minutes, didn't go well. You understand that shit? Gotcha. Dude, I can lie, I've had some goddamn Wait, you, master classes in mission. Can you say though, that? Right? <laughs> I didn't even change position. It was can crazy. Say, can you say that again so I can write it down real quick? <laughs> can, you, Sutra, can you text that to you say, real later. quick? <laughs> We could all S- study. Send me that clip, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I've just it. remembered we're recording everything I just said. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's gonna be on internet forever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, you, I've seen. Okay, this is fucking. I'm glad you're here, cause I've seen <laughs> finally some. <laughs> I've seen crazy yeah. women come after the show for you. Yeah, you you're talk one of the few who have seen this. Talk about that. You've seen me run away from pussy. You've seen that. <laughs> 
He's seen it. Yeah, he's seen it. Yeah. Uh, I was like, if I got, I'll take your number. Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, he threw the number away. Okay. I, I, okay. I was like, are you gay? Before we move. <laughs> I just imagine JD like, in the okay corner with the cloud are. over his head. Like, Before we move forward, I want to <laughs> clarify because this is a very easy way for me to look like an asshole. <laughs> like, they had big ass titties, didn't they? No, you no, no. Run no. Away? That's why you ran away? <laughs> Wait. Hey, no, no, just, get back, please. Get away yes. from me. I was like, just say maybe a little too late? I am trying to recover. You need to get those big titties the fuck away from me, okay? <laughs> I pulled out a coin. I was like, this is my coin for titty recovery, <laughs> and I need you to get away because I can't do this right now. Um, so this is what happens. Um, <laughs> I do some... I'm going to try my best to explain this. This was at Tommy T's too, no? No, no, no. no, no. Retro, Retro Junkie. junkie. And, okay, first of all, okay, on a scale from 1 to 10, what would you rate this woman? Because it was nice. Don't, don't look at me right now, guys. I'd say a nine. She was up there. She was, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Colored eyes. Her, her nice boyfriend looking. was like a seven or a four. <laughs> now, now we're getting into why I didn't do this shit, okay? Now, um, oh, see, wait, wait, you see. Don't interrupt, don't interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but let me, let me, let no, me look yeah, like sorry, an sorry, asshole. Sorry. And basically, hey, what happens is, um, so when this happens to me, there's a few people who have seen this where I go like, no, thank you, or I'm like, uh, and I'll get away from it. She was coming hard. Like, yeah, she was yeah, way yeah. too fucking hard. Like, and what happens is, is when that happens to me, I, I don't deny everything. I'm not going to fucking lie. But <laughs> I look at the situation. I do some Jason Bourne, Liam Neeson shit. Do you right, understand? Right, right. So you seen a girl coming to me, and you were like, bro, Art, fuck her in front of me. Like, you were like, let's, <laughs> bro, let's do this now. And I was like. I'll just do this. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just. <laughs> That's a big joke. I don't want to see. You can hide an orgy with that motherfucker. <laughs> but like, uh, basically, I was looking at the whole situation, and I, she had a dude there who was with her. Yeah. And I could see he wasn't he wasn't feeling good about this. And I didn't want, honestly, I don't want to hurt someone's feelings, but also, I ain't trying to have a fucking bottle broken over my fucking head, bro. Do you understand that shit? Facts. I know, I have friends who have danced with women in a club, and I've had to drag them out the bathroom because they got the head cracked open with a bottle. Just dancing with a chick because she was trying to make her man mad. Do you understand that? And I am trained in the bullshittery. <laughs> so I was like, shh. Part of her might want me that bad, but I think the other part of her, she wants to piss him off that much more. And that kind of combination, I'm trying to leave healthy. You understand that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> On that note, yeah. Mr. Porter, make sure you don't dance any with anyone today because Marcos <laughs> here. <laughs> Marcos is coming down the hallway. You with my fucking man. <laughs> Bye. Arturo, Arturo Regoza, everyone. <laughs> Any, any last, any last words? Any last words? Any last words? Uh, last words is uh, yeah. Uh, Where eat, to follow don't you? Don't eat your vegetables. Eat fucking shit that's bad for you. Life is short. All right, have a good one. Hey. Uh, you guys want another comedian? All right, coming to the stage. I'll, I'll let you no, do, let it. Let 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 do it. it. All right, yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. So uh, this next comedian is uh, super funny. He's part of the Wide Shoulder Brethren. Uh, he's trying to stay away from Sandra Bullock because she's trying to pick up yeah. all the black dudes in her <laughs> Escalade <black> truck. <laughs> <laughs> Please give it up for my good homie, Atu Walker! <laughs> One more time for Atu! <laughs> Yeah, you guys are ending those uh, cheers pretty short. You guys could just, like, not that far of a walk. You could just do it a little longer. <laughs> just a little bit. What's up, bro? Uh, yo, what's up? <laughs> How y'all feeling? <laughs> All right. Uh, my lady and, uh, <laughs> and my stepson are right here. So. Hey. You could tell he's your stepson because he's on his phone the whole goddamn time. <laughs> yeah. He was like, hey, just play with the game, baby. Dude, we'll be over there in a sec, OK? All right? <laughs> Nah, he don't he don't like intimate crowds like this. So all it's right. like, you know. That's weird cuz he's tall as shit. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. He out here. <laughs> You're just you know giving him more anxiety, dude. Stop. Right. I'm gonna just scoot a little bit okay. so I don't feel weird. You feel weird? Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, I don't. I this okay, <laughs> look. Like usually you do a podcast, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. You do a podcast. Yeah. And, and you there with just them, right? Yeah. Right. Now you're in a podcast, and everybody's kind of like staring at you. <laughs> and you're sweating. No, you're sweating. Oh. 
<laughs> we covered this already. Yeah, we'll, we'll, oh, I'm going to try not to sweat. <laughs> Somebody get a towel for JD. Please. Yeah, yeah. Can like JD, a, get a fan JD or something. JD needs something, a towel, a, a moisturizer, a anti-moisturizer agent. You shouldn't have did coke before the show. Oh, yeah. We told you. A couple told you of ice to. cubes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, I'm like, I congratulations on 200 shows. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. After this, it's over, dude. Just so you guys know. <laughs> nah, keep it going. I want 10,000. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I want to come to the 10,000th show. <laughs> and we'd be like old ass dudes, right? <laughs> and the young people are going to be like, y'all still podcasting? <laughs> Like, yes, right. young whoop a snapple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might have to, like, we might have to get up real slow. And <laughs> <laughs> Somebody give me my walker so I can slap this young kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, like we're going to have to keep reminding JD to take his diabetes medication. <laughs> <laughs> JD, you're sweating again. We told you about your blood pressure, all right? <laughs> I might pass out. I'm not going to lie. I'm sweating too much. I might pass out. It's thank okay. you guys. Don't, don't, thank don't. you guys for the refreshments. <laughs> hey, that, that happened to me once. What, was on that? On stage? I went, to, I went to a comedy show. I went to the Woodham's Lounge. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. And this happened some time ago. Uh, I went to Woodham's Lounge, and I did a set. And then after that set, I smoked on three different blunts in the parking lot. Oh, no. no. You know what I mean? Like, one was, one was somebody's blunt. Another one was somebody's joint. And another one was a Birdman situation. Ooh, oh, that's a very and, famous stoner in the and Bay If area. anybody knows Birdman from San Jose, he has a bird. He yeah. Yeah, a, a, yeah, a parrot. I call him I call him Bird Person because <laughs> some of the know. best weed too. Yeah, some of the best weed. I call him Bird Person because he's been to prison, so he's flexible. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, you passed out from smoking all that weed? Yeah, I was just walking, and then you know your heartbeat gets a flutter. That's true. <laughs> and then, uh, and then you don't know what's going on, and then you have, you panic a little bit because of the paranoia, and then you pass the fuck out. I didn't know it could happen. So you passed out, passed out. I passed out. I woke up. I woke <laughs> up. A couple seconds later, I hit the floor. People were like, "You do you did?" And I was like, "No, I'm not dead." And then I kind of walked around a little bit, and it was like, you should go to the hospital. Uh, because there was a nurse that was there that was also drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that the nurse, the nurse yes. said, go to the hospital. Mm. And then uh, Jeanette Marin drove me to the hospital. Faco got in the car. Yeah. I, was I was at the hospital. When I'm done at the hospital, Faco's still there. I gave Faco a ride home. Mm. <laughs> you recovered while this guy was just waiting there, probably high as fuck too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the fun part was I had to tell the doctor, which was like this female doctor, and then there was another doctor behind her. So she was like a, a resident or whatever. She oh, had okay. the scrubs on, and then there was a guy with a coat standing behind her. And then I had to tell both of them that I smoked all this weed. <laughs> and then they looked at me and I was like, all right, we'll put you with some fluids. You'll be all right in a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then they walked out of there. I've done the same thing at Woodham's. Really? I smoked with a comic uh, from Oakland to San Jose, three blunts, and I was driving. Wow. And then after a while, I felt weird, but I didn't feel my feet anymore. <laughs> and I told a comic... Hey, and then I didn't want to seem weak, so I was like, no, never mind, nothing. <laughs> I get to Woodham's, I get to the stage, and I'm on stage. I think I've shared this story with you guys before. I, as I'm on the microphone performing, <laughs> I remember thinking, oh shit, I'm having a heart attack, I gotta go. <laughs> I get off stage, and Pete says, why'd you say the stuff about having a heart attack? <laughs> <laughs> I said that all that out loud. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah, they're probably worried about you because they saw me <laughs> pass out before. And you can't collapse as a fat guy. Hell no. I mean, you really can. It's That's a like a hand. roadblock. You gotta put cones around and shit. It's, it's a very soft. It's slow. You're not gonna injure yourself. <laughs> all that padding. You know, this little skinny motherfucker pass out. He's done. He, he might <laughs> concussion. This is all. There's no meat behind it. No. All the bones are broken. Something's going to get crushed. (laughs) 
Say goodbye to your pelvis. Yeah, bro. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking. Of, I just fell off you stage might get recently. Hip oh, for right now. That, yeah, no, don't get so excited. Oh, right? I love this. I just fell. I just fell off stage in Oakland. What? Yeah, you didn't know. He fell off stage in Oakland. Why? It was like the the most. Why are you celebrating <laughs> falling off stage? Because <laughs> he was on stage. No. See, see, you barely got a bruise. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he was sore for like six weeks Point after proven. that. Right. You know what? It, it was right it after. It was like the most ratchet built stage, though. It was. It, it was, was like two, was two of these stacked. No, it was some downtown was Oakland on it, thing. Yeah? It was like two of these stacked. What was this? Are you are you suing? Uh, uh, maybe. Fuck, I didn't even I think know of that. Some, I know some people that. I well, it was talk. two. It was about the size of this. Oh shit! And I was stepping down, and I had a great set. I was like, oh yeah, hell yeah! I feel like the Pope, fucking coming down. <laughs> like, Let's just say great was a stretch. You had a thunder. Uh, I had a good set. A had a good set. Did you have a thunder you had a good set? set? You had a good set. I don't know what that means, but sure. Um, I'll, I'll explain later. I was coming down, and then they added an extra step because I, I like getting on. I crawled on because it was so. Oh. Yeah. 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 But so, the step okay. that they it was they like, added another step, it like was one of those church steps. From the stage. And it was just like a little rectangle box. So we need to call OSHA then. <laughs> it was it was bad. Because I'm all safety about issue. safety, okay? Yeah. I'm never missed a safety. The point movie. is they were they were cheering, but when I fell, they actually like all went <gasps> at the same time. <laughs> no laughs. Did you float a little bit before you fell? So I felt kind of cool, man. Like my T- gut took all the impact. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about it's one I hell of like a belly this. flop. Yeah. And then when I got up, uh, Jay Rich, if anybody knows Jay Rich. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he came up to me and said, hey, my homie said you did great. He also said you failed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was definitely. Honestly, it was as slow as you think a fat guy would fall. But you know what? <laughs> like, I, was it wasn't like fully like. It was like, no, it was like, it's like the when step I, like yeah. went like inwards and so he just kind of like buckled and then fell. Oh. Hey, like, first of all, was. fuck you, Marcos. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need a play by play. But you know what? As a fat guy, even when I see another fat guy, I, fight, I, mean, I love that shit. You know, when I'm it's sad, like, I replay that. It's like playing Jenga. Don't get to do, feel better. We don't get to do pirouettes often, but when we do. <laughs> Glorious. Goddamn fat it's like, falling. See, <laughs> seeing a fat guy fall is like seeing a bunch of Play-Doh collapse, you know? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's graceful. <laughs> or like, or like you know you when you're in a cafeteria and they scoop that mashed potatoes? <laughs> 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 that right there, you know? And it just... It sounds like that. the fat guy falling. It expands. You know? just, <laughs> expands in slow motion. Well, I didn't know exactly what he was talking about when he there's did a, that. There's though. a reason in football they call it pancakes. <laughs> you have no opinion on this, all right? <laughs> See, I don't mind if other fat people laugh. Oh. And when I fall. <laughs> you don't like the bony people to laugh. I don't like it for thinner people yeah, to laugh. See? Yeah. I get really sensitive about see, that. See, when you're around a fat person and they finish your food first and you're skinny, don't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Keep Yo, it to yourself. Yeah. Hey, since that last time you you when you were on, one of your clips for us got really viral where you talk about uh the blind side. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you explain yeah. can you explain that situation here? Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> So good. I don't know how it came up because like I don't, I don't know how it came up in the conversation. I really don't. Who's don't seen know. the blind side? You no, you were you were in seen the blind side? Yeah, you was you, you was talking about how brothers are endangered species <laughs> out here. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Okay, so I I do believe that. Like I believe it in my heart Facts. because for I'm real, a for black real. man. Facts. And you ain't black. Shut up, Jay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> to my few black brothers out here, you know you rare. You Raise your hand. <laughs> you know you rare out here. You Raise your hand if you're black. No, I'm you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know any black man go to Japan? He got, he got a white girl right there. You see that shit? <laughs> yeah. She, she got, got him. him. You got him. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> Is your name Sandra? <laughs> women, women in Escalades out here opening doors. <laughs> I bet you ten dollars she got an Escalade. <laughs> she had a truck of some kind. Ah, yeah. something probably like a Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> something where you like, oh shit, her windows tinted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, see, uh, white folks, uh, we know you racist if your windows ain't tinted. And you got like an S class or something, okay? <laughs> we know. We know you racist. <laughs> so just remember that. If you see a white person driving a vehicle, okay, right? And the windows aren't tinted and it's like a Mercedes Benz, like 900 series or some shit, they support Trump. 
Okay? You know they do. You know. Because the reason why a white woman gonna have her windows tinted because they don't want nobody to see the black person riding with her. <laughs> she don't want nobody to see. She don't want no questions asked. Her and her fuck buddy having a good time. Her white husband is old. Her, her and Cordain. Don't work. Her and Cordain. He was an original investor in Viagra, and he got it the first time, and he's been comatose ever since. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> Sound like he got the prototype. <laughs> you like you've seen one this before. Edition. Yeah, Andre T. Thiles, you warned you. <laughs> Wait, Caroline. <laughs> Y'all got me started. I don't even know what to do anymore. That's like that's a funnier joke than what I said before. <laughs> Did you hey, look, speak? look, look. Let me really explain the situation. I'll tell you. I'll tell you for real. All right. <laughs> I, he brought that up, and I said, endangered species thing. And I was just like, the first thing I thought was, was like, man, what would it be like if I was walking on the side of the road and Sandra Bullock pulled up? <laughs> and you say, what do I do? <laughs> and, and, and you're all wet. You say you're all wet. Get in the car. <laughs> what do you do if you're 15 years old and the prettiest woman you've ever seen based on generic ass shit that you don't know nothing about? <laughs> <laughs> the most milk toast, blonde hair, white woman you've ever seen pulls up on you. There's no internet back then. The only thing you can jack off to is 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 thuggy set flip pages. <laughs> Cosmos. People magazine. Cosmos, whatever. Who on them Wait, 90s boy. magazines? <laughs> you feel me? That woman pulled up on you and she got the titties on the jewelry all jingling and smelling like perfume. <laughs> hey, hey, get in this car. <laughs> And it was raining, and you it's wet. It's raining, and raining. you wet, yeah. and, and she says it's warm in here. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> get on in. <laughs> You don't think? Come on, nobody explained that part where 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 the white woman brought the nigga home, <laughs> and the husband was like. <laughs> <laughs> That's what white dudes, that's what corny ass white dudes do when they get upset. No. They stand in place and do this with their arms a lot. <laughs> Come on, y'all see them at the grocery store? Little punk bitches screaming at their moms about some candy. <laughs> Same face. <laughs> the funniest part about that, because after she picked up Big Mike, you did not see her husband for the rest of the movie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the motherfucker moved out. Exactly. They hate shit. that nigga. He in the basement. Not only that, she moved him in. He was. <laughs> she moved him in, gave him a bed, and he said, "What, Marcos? What did he say?" I ain't never had a bed before. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then Atu says, well, we're going to test the fuck out of these springs tonight. We're going to test the fuck out of these springs. That's what we're about to do. And, and after that scene, he gets a pickup truck. Yeah. Brand, new, brand, new, pickup brand new pickup truck. Brand new pickup truck. That means Pick he fucked up. her good and long. Yeah. Right? I, and then I'm, he just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What, what white woman you know? What white woman? Any of y'all. Y'all know a white woman picking up black dudes off the side of the street and giving them cars for no reason? <laughs> Same thing happened to Jimmy Butter. Look what he doing. <laughs> I'm just saying that that 40 year old white woman pussy must be good shit. Hey, but just turning to, brothers into superstars. <laughs> just to clarify, you're not against interracial dating. No, I mean, I, <laughs> no. Why not? Why not make everybody brown? <laughs> Facts. That. Solve a lot of problems. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not be everybody confused about what, 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 I don't know what to call you. You don't need to call me shit. <laughs> you guys have any questions for Otto? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a black guru, I guess. <laughs> I know a lot about white people. I watch a lot of television. 
<laughs> so, this is my study. I study it. I like NCIS. Because <laughs> I want to know what you think you're going to get away with. Because I know I ain't about to get away with shit. <laughs> Memorizing these laws. <laughs> oh, no. Trying to tell all the kids to become lawyers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can keep talking. I, he hasn't spoken this whole time, so I feel bad. <laughs> what you got on your mind, brother? <laughs> I, I'm chimed in. I'm okay. good. I'm good. Okay, cool. I like that shirt. He's trying to get abducted by white women too. That's what happened. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's why he walks yeah. everywhere. Yeah, you gotta, you know, you go over there, stand on the corner of Lafayette for long enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, just float around. Just, hey, make sure it's raining too. You know, hey, make sure it's raining, and then like be carrying like a sleeping bag and have it dragging <laughs> behind you. And make sure you look like you run. You can run hella yards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, actually run in the rain. That's what it is. <laughs> Some white woman will be like, oh, let me get a puppy. <laughs> I done rescued him. Ooh, the Lord Jesus be. <laughs> See, that won't work for fat Mexicans, dude. Oh, no, it does. Y'all get kidnapped in Texas all the time. <laughs> Where do you think Tex-Mex came from? <laughs> Tex-Mex came from white women trying to cook for their Mexican husbands. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no lie. She's like a call it nacho. Mad babe. that abuela in there talking shit. Cause abuela don't talk shit. You don't know how to make your tacos. <laughs> go make they go make their grandfather make a whole uh, make a whole nother whole nother industry of refried beans and <laughs> and that whole white people taco night. You know. <laughs> The history of Taco White Bell brought to you by the voice party. Hey, but that shit is hella good. No, it's not. <laughs> it's different. No, but you it like is good. sour cream. Just say I like sour cream on everything. <laughs> Who doesn't like sour cream here? I don't. Just give me the bubble guts. Oh fuck. Oh my uh-uh, god. I'm sorry. Uh, now you put hot sauce on tacos, not sour cream. <laughs> That's what tacos are for, a hot sauce delivery device. <laughs> Gosh. All my questions went away. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't fuck with me. I fuck with you. <laughs> oh, shit. I too, is, this is going how you expected it to go when I told uh, you what this was You know was what? Be? It's going better than I thought. <laughs> That's good. Especially, especially with this guy over here not been saying sets and sex correctly. <laughs> Wait, wait, did you hear sex too? I heard sex. I heard I heard sex. Heard. And I thought he sex said it too. again and he said sets. Like I was just like, yo, bro, you gotta work on that E a little bit. There's a little lisp. He gets yeah. away with it because of that face. I'm worried know? about his uh, grade school situation. <laughs> was it good? No, it wasn't. Uh, Don't ever teach, uh, bro. Uh, he was too busy being Eddie Munster out there. <laughs> Let, give it up one more time for our two. Yo, give it up for these guys. Any last words? Any, before we go, any last words? Oh, last words. Uh, uh, you guys are beautiful. Uh, never forget that. <laughs> Don't uh, walk in the rain. And brothers, 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 stay safe out here in these streets. <laughs> Dangerous time for us all. <laughs> one more time for our two, Walker. Hey, I think you're supposed to ask any last words before you kick them off the stage. <laughs> You've done this twice already. Is that how it's supposed to go? Yeah. My bad. Yeah. You guys have any questions? No, I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> doing it now. You guys having a good time so far? <laughs> you you want to bring them up again? All right, we, we're down to our last comedian. Um, this, burr, guy, burr, burr, burr. this guy is super fucking funny. Um, is your I, mic on? I don't know. I don't know. Is it on? Is that, can you guys is hear this him? mic on? Yeah, I hear Hell yeah. oh, okay. okay, so this next comedian, uh, super funny dude, uh, performs all up and down California. One of the funniest dudes I have ever met, uh, based out of Oakland, uh, party all the time with this guy. He part of like, Hella Funny. Part of Hella Funny. Uh, he, he puts on shows uh, Thursday through Monday at Copper Spoon in Oakland. Uh, He's a t- fellow teacher as well. Damn. Hell yeah. Give it up for this Hell man. Hell yeah. What about these teachers? 
Oh, oh, oh teach, teachers do a lot of drama, so we go into comedy, all right? Because, because one, we get tipped with drinks, all right? And teachers need drinks to keep teaching y'all badass kids, all right? Facts. But back to my intro. Give it up for Brian Hill! <laughs> friends <laughs> how the fuck are we doing Richmond <laughs> this is dope I got checked two times by security getting here I've never felt so safe in my life in <laughs> I was like nigga I have astigmatism I don't know who I was shooting here but no you're a beautiful crowd bang bang niner gang I see you out here nigga okay hey. I see the A's fan here we out here yeah, we didn't win, only won 10 games, but fuck it, we still. <laughs> that hat is still dope as fuck, though, nigga. I don't give a fuck. I'm sorry, I just started talking shit. It's all good, it's man. All good. I've been drinking. What's up, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> it's my black avatar back here. <laughs> I wake up, I think I look like this nigga, but no! <laughs> you are handsome, nigga. I hate you. You're 25, fuck you, nigga. I'm 25 right now. This nigga trying to say my age. How you tell me how old the fuck I am? You could be my son. What's your mama look like? I'm like, I'm like, I can't keep talking shit in my back to him the whole time. He might stab a nigga. Hey, he's right behind you too, bro. Be careful. I know. He's cool. We on camera. Don't do it. That's for all the youth. <laughs> Cameras, look, she got you, witness, nigga. We got it. you, got nigga. So, how's everybody doing? <laughs> this is fun. This is my podcast. <laughs> I'm glad everybody came to see what the fuck I had to say. It's great. Yes, it is facts. It's when he yeah, comes yeah, on yeah, here. It's it's us, it's us. Us. This is my friend Black Joaquin. If you don't know, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Tell us, tell us so, the story. So if you don't know, Black Joaquin, we all know Black Joaquin. I did the podcast. I called the nigga Black Joaquin. First like, one. Who are you? Yeah, yeah you gave him that nickname. Me. It's Black Joaquin. It is Black Joaquin because he's Mexican? Quarter. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Black Joaquin. <laughs> yeah. The nigga's name is Joaquin. That's. He looked like all nigga, but part inside, <laughs> there's a Joaquin. I thought he was walking somewhere. He said, no, my name is Joaquin. I'm like, oh, that's an activity you're doing right now? He said, no, no, that's my fucking name. So, Black Joaquin. Joaquin Lascano. It's stuck ever since. It's, yep, ever since. Yeah. Everyone that's calls your legacy that. for the yeah. show, man, is my, my name. Although Black we Joaquin. had, we did. We I hope did. to do more than that shit. That's my name. <laughs> that's the legacy I named this nigga? For the oh, show. shit. Put me on the next podcast with Felipe, nigga. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> if this is how it's going. I'm just naming random niggas. We did have debates, though, who was allowed to say Black Joaquin and who wasn't. Yeah, he can't say it. Yeah, but apparently it's I like can't. The, it's like the, like the N-word. Why is it nigga? more? Yeah, it's like the, <laughs> You can't say Black Joaquin. But he can. <laughs> but I can, right? We're, we're both Mexican. We're almost the same shade. <laughs> A little bit. Little, no, 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 him, not you. Marcos, he has tattoo. Fuck it, you can say it. Yeah. <laughs> it's the fingernails that fools everybody. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. He's one of those Mexicans. <laughs> I'm that one cousin that every family has. <laughs> the chupacabra. <laughs> you know about the chupacabra? You flick the nails. <laughs> it's, like, it's like you don't know he's about to hit on you or do magic. Yeah, exactly. Like one of those two. He's like, well, pick a card. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> Getting you a gift certificate for Hot Topic for Christmas this year. I will take it. Or Forever 21. I, I will take that, there. too. He's definitely Forever 21 ass, motherfucker. <laughs> he looks like a narc at a rave. Like, he's fucking... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to... Hey, going up to 21-year-olds, you want to buy some drugs? <laughs> I won't take them, but I'll watch you. I'll watch you and record you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? She's my favorite. She's been talking like we're at the house. Yeah. She's like, oh my god. I swear she's not our band manager. They know you so well. Oh shit. I don't know. I don't know that is. Yeah. Oh shit. That's true. You just noticed that? No, no. I didn't notice that. But I just like I didn't think of it, man. But hey, this is Brian's moment. Sorry. 
I was like, Sit. when did the questions start? I just, I'm not gonna talk about Timber. True. Okay. Well, okay. We had questions, but they all went away. I know. I'm sorry. We I thought you it. you had questions for us. Oh yes. This is your podcast. This is your right? podcast. Perfect. <laughs> Go for it. This could be a show <sighs> with you. Okay. <laughs> so I'm getting paid by the minute, so I start speaking slower. <laughs> So first off, when's the baby due? Oh. I was talking to Corday. No, no. Got him! Got him! Oh. No, like, Corday is not pregnant. He's just wearing my baby mama's shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. My baby mama looks so cute in that one. We went out. We had six times ne- today. When's the next Temptation album come out, uh, Brian? Oh. We can shoot that motherfucker, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I, got, I refuse yeah, to I, let you go. I got, I got killed. <laughs> Nobody knows who the fuck he's even talking about. He's just laughing. You don't know who the fuck temptations look like. Tell me two temptations, nigga. It's exactly quiet, nigga. They don't know. There you say, I look like Jamie Foxx. I'm like, oh, you funny, nigga. He dying. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's not dying. He recovered. He recovered for sure. Are you sure? I you talk to the nigga? Because <laughs> the internet said that nigga dead. <laughs> Jamie didn't dead three weeks and back like Jesus. <laughs> he is. He can sing like Jesus. I like Jamie. Back. She back. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> is that you, player? Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That was the whole point of this hey. whole show. Just for that. Hey, you miss every shot you don't shoot, fucker. Okay? <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. Burr, 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 burr. Wait, what? Is this a first date or what? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's like, he legit said, she just sat here and I'm going for it. For you. <laughs> he was like, thanks for the assist, player. <laughs> like, <laughs> the fucked up thing is, I know his wife. <laughs> why, uh, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why, Marco? He's why? an asshole. Why, Marco? Oh, and like you oh. said, fucking narc. <laughs> <laughs> fucking narco. The fucking narc right here. I'm joking, I'm joking. We're not even at a fucking club. Oh, fuck. Those aren't real tattoos, bro. You're yeah. undercover. You're undercover. They're all the oh, water. that's just sketch ass tattoos. <laughs> I told Corday I wanted what, to. What are you, an extra in fucking Sons of Anarchy? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? It would be if he was going Mexican, it would be Mayans. But no, here at Santa Anarchy, yeah. Santa Anarchy, Anarchy, Anarchy yeah. season two, ass oh, nigga. Yeah, yeah. How, how come there's no black biker gang shows? There's, there's, we have black bikers. I know, I know you do, but yeah, there is but not no me, black. Nigga, I like cars. <laughs> <laughs> Motorcycles are the whitest thing ever. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, just God. freedom, just riding down the street in my motorcycle. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> Hey, like he said, you're a teacher. Yes. Well, well, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying uh-huh. to steer into questions. <laughs> it's okay. Um, you talk about that a lot in your stand-up. I do. How? Fuck these kids. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Facts. Fuck these they, kids. They pay the bill. They pay the bills. They pay the bills. I, I think we asked you that before, but like, how do you, you, you keep videos of yourself away from the internet, like being a teacher? <laughs> I, I tell myself that's why I'm not famous, but I know it's that's not the truth. But <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, I'd post more content, but I don't want to be famous, and these kids might find me. No, I don't post content really on the Internet because I cuss a lot mm. when I'm on stage. And when I, I, I work in Palo Alto, and I'm really known as like, they're Jesus. like, oh, Coach Bryant, you're the great. I'm going to tell y'all a story. I can't lie to y'all. This shit happened to me on Friday. I work in like a bougie-ass school, y'all. Boo, bougie's fuck like... No, 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 not, East, not EPA. No, no, no. They're like, fuck the E. They're like Palo Alto. The, the metaverse, nigga. I worked at one of my schools. Somebody donated a million dollars for a new library. No. I'm like, bitch, nobody reads books. But anyway. <laughs> but that's not the fucking story. I had this fucking little white kid came up to me, a little Swedish white kid. <laughs> First grade. Came to me as I was leaving on Friday. He said, Coach Bryant. Dap me up. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> First off, Tom, what do you know about dap me up? <laughs> You're from Sweden. You've been here for three months. But whatever. I dap Tom up. Tom dap me up and said, 
Black Lives Matter. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck did you say? And he walked back, <laughs> grabbed his backpack, grabbed his white mom, and looked at me again and said, Black Lives Matter. I think, God damn it, Tom. I don't know if you know what that means, but I like you. <laughs> Make sure you know me and Corday matter, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Joaquin. And Joaquin, nigga. I'll be forgetting. I'll be forgetting. Three, and four. my avatar. And my avatar. <laughs> All of us. All four. Is it I miss another nigga in here? <laughs> oh, I too. He left. He had to go back to Santa Cruz. <laughs> David, you was hiding, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> David, not trying to get pulled over tonight. I see you, David. <laughs> you smart. I, 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 I got to say, though, th- he's the most bice up black dude I've ever met. He is. <laughs> he's the most. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Brian. I like, uh, <laughs> I like all of that Who the fuck? <laughs> it's a competition? Yes, yeah, sir. It's always a competition, Black Joaquin. <laughs> <laughs> We're black. That's fair. <laughs> It's not fair. We're black. <laughs> the whites already have an advantage. A leg up. Our third leg is bigger, but it doesn't count as much. Hey. That's for the ladies. <laughs> if you don't fuck, I'm fucking. <laughs> oh, of course. Only if you can say it. You got a little African print. I saw I got the nigger print on there. That's like some African shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she smokes reefer, nigga, right there. That's a weed. You got weed in there, don't you? I got some, don't worry. <laughs> I got her. You better start spitting, nigga, because she likes it. She likes it, nigga. <laughs> black avatar, we winning? Cool, cool. I don't give a fuck. Nobody else likes it. As long as my black avatar likes it, nigga, it's good. I don't know if you know, but y'all both been on the, the little video thing. You all up in here, so you been cute. I was making sure. I was about to be like, don't make we good. <laughs> Go ahead, a question. I got a funny story to tell about Brian. Oh, fuck, here we go. This happened recently at Copper Spoon, like you mentioned, the show mm-hmm. Copper Spoon. I got these red shoes that I was real proud of, right? And I was like excited, I get to finally wear them out in public. <laughs> and it's like a different red, it's not like red, red. I'm walking down, I was like, oh shit, someone's gonna compliment me on my shoes, you know? And then Brian just said, uh, oh, look at him in his pink ass shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't worn them since. <laughs> My favorite part, he tried to say that they were red. He's like, they were a different shade of red. You mean pink, motherfucker? They're pink. They have shoes. Pinker than Corday's shirt, nigga. He do like wear a pink. lot of pink. I like pink, too. I Me rock too. shit all the time. Pink is gangster. It's gangster. We're, Cameron we're, made it. We're going on tour soon. We are. Woo! Yes. No dates set up or anything, but we're going on tour. <laughs> It could be just around Richmond. Just like, <laughs> look at that new establishment. That's great. After this, we're going to El Garaje, and then we're going to go, we're going to make the rounds. We're going to go to TJ Tacos right there. <laughs> Tijuana Tacos right next door. They're good? Okay. They're good. I grew up in San Diego, so I'm going to judge the fuck out of tacos. Okay. What the fuck? How you can be better than Tijuana? Motherfucker, it's Tijuana. They came, to, we, they came to Northern California and made some Tijuana tacos better than Tijuana. Okay. They're good. They just take a long time. It's like That's the deep, not it's Tijuana like, then. It's like because in Tijuana the tacos were made right there. Yeah. Three tacos, one dollar, half of it donkey meat. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, that donkey meat is fucking delicious sometimes. <laughs> Enough salsa. Fuck the sour cream. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Without two, fuck sour cream. That's weird. That's nut sauce, I like nigga. I never. <laughs> if you like sour cream, you like nut sauce. <laughs> Next time you eat sour cream, I'm the reason you fucking can't eat sour cream no more. Thank you for that. Because you some hard-ass gangsters in here. You're like, I ain't gay, nigga. I'm going to put this little nut sauce taco down. And your girl going to be like, mmm. <laughs> nigga, that shit is delicious. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I'm high. <laughs> Questions, niggas. One <laughs> <laughs> of you guys got a question for Bro, bro no. <laughs> How long you been doing stand-up, Brian? No, not fuck. long enough, it looks like. <laughs> wait, wait. 12 we... years. 12, I think, but like I said, I've never really fully committed because... 2008, right? Yeah, yeah, because I just, I've been teaching and 
just kind of, I need that extra paycheck. Fuck this shit, I'm black. I can't just be, I don't have no parent to be like, oh, go for your hopes and dreams. Like, no, nah, fuck that. I still pay my mama rent and shit. <laughs> like, what the fuck? So I couldn't just fully commit. I had to do all things. And yeah, but it's been 12 years off and on. I do it for fun. So I like, I love it. I still have a passion for it. It's still fun. Like, I like going out and doing the comedy. And sometimes being not doing comedy, like, ugh, fuck this crowd. They only three people in here, but y'all beautiful. If y'all ugly, I wouldn't have performed. <laughs> I ain't lying, I'd have kept my black ass outside the court. Hey, and and you shared the stage with Chappelle. I have shared the stage with yeah. Chappelle. It was, yeah. it was one time, and <laughs> he was walking by, I opened the door for the nigga. <laughs> like David, you're amazing. No. No. When we first started doing comedy, we did a show at the New Parish. And uh, we had one night that Dave Chappelle and Chris uh, Tucker pulled up to the show, and it was like crazy. And then like two weeks later, Dave Chappelle hosted a show for us, and he just made every comics day that night. I, I told a joke where I said I wasn't gangster enough. And after I got off stage, Dave Chappelle said, if Brian Hicks isn't gangster enough, I gotta get out of Oakland. I was like, that was it, nigga, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> he said my full government name <laughs> in front of other people. And I thought like, fucking Def Jam was gonna call me up, but no. <laughs> I'm here in Richmond with you niggas now. <laughs> 12 years later. I told Dave that joke. He said, nigga, I don't know you. <laughs> but I always remember that, David. Remember that, David. What? David, right there in the middle. There's a camera, nigga. Oh. Oh. Camera. oh. I'm a professional, because it's going to go online later on. And later I'm going to look like a player, because I point to Dave Chappelle <laughs> with my drink and my black avatar in the background, nigga. <laughs> Nigga. Hey, one day we're gonna have Dave on the show. Yeah, Man, we are. Oh. We have Felipe Esparza was on this motherfucking shit. That's crazy as fuck. I know. He, and, he you know who Felipe Esparza is? <laughs> I know. There's Mexicans here. I know. <laughs> He's like the fucking Jesus of your comedy. <laughs> Jesus, hey, I'm not gonna lie though. I kind of fumbled that interview a little bit because I was, I was, I was having a, I was having a Marcos moment. Like, yeah. like when he met his his uh, his uh his idol uh, is one of who, my favorite comics. Who's your idol, Mark? He's right here, right behind you. He just got here. My black avatar. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> he is dope as fuck. <laughs> He's dope. Yeah. Who else is here? He right. waves. <laughs> yeah. Him. That was the most kind white wave ever. He was like, "It's me." <laughs> I think your people say I am him. <laughs> <laughs> Hemi Butler over here. <laughs> Fucking Hemi Butler. Yes. So what do you do, friend? I teach. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I like that. He's my favorite teacher. What, what, what do you teach? English. English. What? Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. When did this become a Q and A? Mar Mar Marcos, Marcos, they are not trying to attack your favorite person. Okay, calm down. Calm down. I'm he's trying to find Marcos. out why he's, he's your favorite person. He's obviously adorable, but <laughs> why else is he your? Don't favorite you person? think I knew that? Why, why else? Down boy. What, what, what grade he said? I teach high school. High school. All the grades. All in Richmond. Yes. yes. God's work. Thank you. <laughs> what for this motherfucker? Clap louder for this motherfucker. Because it's a little bit easier when you look like me and Corday to teach motherfucking kids. Nigga, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> but this adorable ass nigga <laughs> in Richmond? I wouldn't do homework at all in this thing's class. I'd be like, give me a motherfucking A, bitch. You, I'll give you a motherfucking A. I'll be my ass. I'll fuck you up. You don't give me a motherfucking A. I like it. Hey, help him paint his nails better than Nick, okay? <laughs> <laughs> trash job. What the fuck is this? My shit's all trash. Hold them out. Hold them out. Hold okay. them out. Sorry. They're Hold bad. Show. They're bad. Show. Right I know, motherfucker. <laughs> They're bad. <laughs> uh, no, I, I chipped them off. That's why. I'm going to stop talking about it. should have finished. Bro. I'm glad. You, what's your name? Zach. Zach. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Zach teaches in Richmond High School. Clap again for this. Motherfucker! Holy shit! What the fuck? Yeah, like normal teeth, like you wear that to school every day? <laughs> and they don't, they don't, they don't teach, they're, just, they're like, 
we don't want to catch a case. This is a camera. It's like <laughs> it's like fucking bait car for teachers. It's just like, <laughs> nigga, he go, we going to fuck him up. They're going to take us to jail. I know. I, I know they are. Show. I like you, Zach. <laughs> you teach the blacks. You do. <laughs> I went to Palo Alto to teach the whites. You're like, fuck it. I'll take your job. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, Fuck you, yeah. You just told me about an experience you had with your students where you gave them uh, Otter Pops. Oh, yeah. what, what do they oh. call them? So I, so I, like I said, I work in motherfucking, in uh, fucking Palo Alto, like the rich part of Palo Alto. Why? So yeah, white pile out. So I give my students at the end of, I'm a PE teacher, I do cooperative play. So at the end of my classes, they think I'm giving them a treat. It's easier for me, I get 10 minutes out of teaching them motherfuckers. So I give them Otter Pops, right? But you know Otter Pops, little popsicles? Yeah. These fucking kids don't know that it shit's ghetto. They, they're like, oh my God. <laughs> and I had a first grader come to me, she said, Coach Bryant, I've never had a gelato like this. <laughs> 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 I was like, bitch, I ain't never had gelato. Fuck you. <laughs> you little bougie ass bitch. Just bragging. The kids Just thought he was bragging, really but living too. They're great. They're very great. Give it up for Brian Hicks. <laughs> Man. Any last words? Are you going to ask him about any last statements? Any last statements before you? Uh, any questions from <laughs> I love you all. I hope you get home safely. My one friend, Gabriano Soriano, once told me a great lesson. I want you all to remember this. Life lesson. Never cook chorizo naked in the morning, okay? <laughs> that shit pops and hurts, and I'm telling you, from experience. Guys, put on the condoms. Make sure consent. I don't know why I looked at you when I said it. <laughs> he looks like he doesn't care, but ask, okay? Ask. Good luck to you. I will pray for you. I hope, I hope you fucking win. Hope you win. Black Avatar, we cool? Did I do good for us? Cool, cool. Talking ass lady. <laughs> Do you have anything else to fuck to say? <laughs> Thank you. Don't get in her car. Fuck that. That's, she fine. Nigga, I'm gonna get in her car. <laughs> <laughs> finish this fucking drink and shit. Bang bang manner gang. Let's go Oakland. She said on her window. She asked her if her windows are tinted. <laughs> She said they're very tinted. That means she date black dudes, all right? I know. <laughs> we know, nigga. Shout out to I2. Yeah, I do. I do. Hey, there we go. All I want to say is make sure you tell all your friends, listen to this fucking podcast. It's amazing. Yeah. This shit Thank is dope you. as fuck. Get more followers. Make us all famous. And then I can retire. <laughs> and when a kid sees you on the shit, like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> I just did it for the money, nigga. <laughs> I just do it for the money, nigga. <laughs> Make sure Dave sees it again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fucking Dave, I love you. <laughs> Book me. Chris Riggins is funny, but I'm funny too. <laughs> Shout out to Chris Felipe, Riggins. I love Mexicans. <laughs> Book me. He's the most Mexican black dude I've ever met. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. You gonna say that shit with black Joaquin on the couch? <laughs> He's more Mexican than me, fool. <laughs> Well, like that He's I more. Fuck yeah, I am. That's What's fair. your favorite beer? Tecate. Ah! <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Flan or tres leches? Tres leches. Ah! What's up? <laughs> Somebody shout one out. Uh, neither. <laughs> huh? Did she say nigga? I said nigga. <laughs> what is that? Did she mean Michelado? <laughs> he, can, he can say it. He has a black tattoo. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I said I have a, neither. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't. Oh, no. oh, carnitas or lengua, but I too. Oh, I go carnitas. Oh. I like. No, my, no, no. How hey, cliche. How I like American my brain different, but the. Oh! <laughs> you know what I'm All saying? Right. I like my cabecita a little <laughs> different. <laughs> I like that sour cream. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get canceled. Nigga. <laughs> How am I going to get canceled before I get started? It's fucked up. I didn't even start this shit. I already canceled it, nigga. Okay, now one more time for Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Brian. Time for Brian.
on there. Do you want to scoot over? Or do you want me to... Just... Oh. Keep the big guys on oh. the table. Gosh. Now it's like the show. Give it up one more time for all the comedians you saw tonight. Woo! Brian Hicks, Atu Walker, and... Arturo Ar Raigosa. There you go. <laughs> I had to add the accent, yeah, Arturo. No, I, I can say that too. Though. Okay. Right goes out. I know how to say that shit. Come on. You guys have any questions? This is the portion now. We're gonna open it up. You guys have any questions for us? <laughs> <laughs> I told you the segment was gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> like who the fuck? <laughs> who cares? <laughs> I'll ask you a question. Okay, ask me a question. How hard was it to uh, continue doing the podcast during the pandemic? Oh, shit. Because oh. we never... This is the thing, right? The the variation of co-hosts and members has, has gone through a couple cycles, but yep. this guy and Phil and Joaquin, and Joaquin yeah. too, have and never that, changed. And that piece of shit, Gaspar. <laughs> yeah, Gaspar. <laughs> Gaspar's an old We don't co talk about Gaspar. No. Um, but you guys never missed an episode since you guys have started this podcast. Since 2019... September 2019, we've had a new episode every Monday. And never missed. And never missed. Isn't that crazy? And in the pandemic, we almost stopped. Right. Uh, but we kept going. And at, at one point, it was kind of like, ah, I kind of want to stop. But we got the opportunity to, uh, any, anybody know Rick Ross? The real Rick Ross? Yeah. The drug dealer Rick Ross, not the, not not the, the rapper. rapper. Not the, I'm the biggest boy. No, 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 no. The, ra the real crack kingpin. <laughs> of the 80s. We were able to get him on the podcast. And that kept us going. Right. And... Uh, it was an interesting thing, and then after that, we were able to get a few other. You know, we were able to interview uh, Oscar Grant's mom, my aunt. Shit. Where it kind of changed the whole like goofiness of the podcast. Where it kind of we, it was uh, right after George Floyd was killed, so it was kind of a important thing. Where it kind of felt like this isn't my bullshit comedy anymore. <laughs> this is turned into something else. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, fast forward to a year into it. Uh, some people hit me up, and this is like, you know, like one of the things that kind of changed how I thought about this, where people reached out to me saying that they were considering suicide, and the only time they laugh is when they listen to the voice party. And that kind of just like, this isn't my thing anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's bigger. It's, it's, bigger it's something else. else. It's I something think we else. tend to forget, like, we made the joke, like, coming at, you know, when they were introducing us, that like, like, our band hasn't got bigger in five years, but like, you forget that... Little people, wins. people are listening. Yeah. yeah. Right? People yeah. are listening and that's why, you know, we've we've had these talks among us, like, what do we do to, to keep going? How are we gonna change this and make it a little fresher for us? Because you know, things like this in art, no matter what, get repetitive and and we, we have to be more creative sometimes and you know, I think when you hear stuff like that and you hear the support, and you see the support like this, which we really appreciate you guys appreciate coming you. out. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, seriously, really? uh, round of applause for you guys themselves. Thank you guys for being here. <laughs> this this is seriously what makes us want to keep doing this, yeah. you know? It, the, it's, the cool flyers, too. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, and we, like, never run out of support, so that's also what kind of, you know, Corday came in. Uh, uh, Marcos came in and it changed the whole trajectory of what it became. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, we've interviewed the new mayor of Richmond when he was running. Yep. Yep. And, and he and he owes us some favors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's mob, basically. I need some things cleared. You know. <laughs> the voice party got the city of Richmond on lock, guys. Yeah. <laughs> the city of Richmond owes us a lot of favors now. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, there's some cool things that we have on the way that we're excited to share. Yeah, uh, you know, like I got to interview Felipe Esparza, one of my favorite comics. Do you want to talk about that a little bit since we have some free time and no one's got a question for us? <laughs> it was let's, awesome. Let's talk, about, let's talk about like the scenario. Okay, I went in backstage to interview Felipe Esparza because I did a favor for him. Where recently. it? Where it? Did you the the Palace of Fine Arts. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> At the end of the interview, he asked me if I want a guest set to perform, you know, open up for him. Uh, this, is like, this is like every artist's dream, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. inter like talking to your your idol and then being like, "Hey, you want to like come perform with me?" And you're like, "Fuck yeah!" I think that's that, like, like what happened. A little bit of pee came out. Yeah, 
<laughs> in front of a sold out crowd. In front of a sold out. It was in front of a thousand, uh, a thousand people. Yeah. Yeah. And I did my set. And it went well. It went great. And then I went backstage and he heard the laughter and he was like, you know, how did it feel? I was like, fuck. I came, was, out, I came all over myself, dog. <laughs> <laughs> that was, yeah, yeah. All that sour cream, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was kind of a cool moment to, that was kind of a cool moment to really experience. It was a core too. memory. Core memory, yeah. like snapshot, like ooh. Like inside out. A inside core out. Memory. Like, <laughs> like, 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 like when you, I'm sure when you opened for Eddie yeah. Griffin. When I opened for Eddie Griffin, that was dope as hell. Uh, like, because I remember Eddie Griffin, uh, thanks to Otto Walker, he put on. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck, he <laughs> he's, he's gone to leave. his next uh, gig. Uh, <laughs> so I got to open for Eddie Griffin at the San Jose Improv. Uh, that was super dope. Um, not only that, before I saw him, he was like, "Hey, brother, I saw I saw your uh, I saw your video. I think you're funny as shit." And I was like, "You think I'm funny as shit? Like, oh my god, that is so dope!" And then so I did. Uh, he had four sold out shows, and then uh, right before the last one, the uh, the manager GM asked, he was like, "How you how you think Corday did?" He was like, "Yeah, brother, man, you was killing all weekend. You funny as shit." I was like, "Oh my god, do you think I'm funny as shit?" It was surreal. He was dope as shit because funny about it, like you see like superstars, you see your idols, stuff like that. Uh, it's dope itself for them to tell you how how funny they think you are. Because at one point, like some like op- some like they say, never meet your heroes. And at one point, I thought I was gonna get kicked out the green room because sometimes like they don't want to like hang around like new and up and coming like com- comedian stuff like that. And then like I feel like his people was kind of like about to try to kick me out. He was like, nah, the brother can stay and shit like that. We can talk it up. I can chat. We can chat up. I can tell him like how good he's doing. I give him some pointers. And then that fucking was <laughs> great. It was amazing. So yeah. And that's, like, from doing that at the Felipe show, I got booked at a comedy club in Bakersfield. So, like, there you go. Hey. all this shit, there you know. Right. And it's all because of the voice party. So, thank you guys for listening. If you do listen, keep listening. Uh, we're just going to turn this into something else soon. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, real quick. I don't know if we we're pointing said this, but uh, thank you to our sponsors. Today, uh, the Factory Bar. Thank you guys for having us. Um, Really awesome. We really appreciate you guys. Um, And Big Boy Raps. They have been a a longtime sponsor for for since the thing started. They let us record our show at their studio. Yeah. 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 So so whenever like whenever we record, we always have a spot. And we're always looking for new sponsors. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yo. Shout out to Phil, man. With all of this, the mics, the sound, right behind you. it's all him, the cameras, <laughs> IOP video, we make things look pretty. Hey, shout Seriously. out to Joaquin for buying lunch every time we oh, record. Yeah. 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 That's why they keep me around, y'all. Stop, stop ordering pizza with pineapple, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, stop ordering that vegetarian shit that nobody eats, bro. I was like, oh. Yeah, now, now to come to think of it, stop buying lunch, dude. <laughs> Fucking suck at it. God. Sometimes we have a guest that's vegetarian. There's and, never and been an issue. Never. Like pineapple. My, he always says that shit, and, and, no, it's, and there's no vegetarians that ever come, ever come on. No, we ever. Had a guy this is like once. not an issue that we have. Yeah. We had a guy once who we didn't. <laughs> One time. <laughs> One, time. <laughs> One fucking time. I'm so picky. I just like just pepperoni. That's you should. Sure? You have no say because you just fucking barely eat. First of all, two no, bites and you eat. got stomach cramps, dog. Like no, I do eat. No, he's a lot. He's a lot. Of, he's oh, a lot of the good shit. It'd be okay. like, I'm like, it'd be like a few slices left, and then Marco's just snatching them out. Like not like asking about anybody else wants some. Marco's just like, oh dude, did you want that? <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, you can have it. Uh, yeah. want. Like he takes a bite out of it. Oh my bad. You could. I'm like, no, dude, I don't want I, that shit. I mean, it's not like you don't need it. Look, he's skin and bones compared to us. I mean, <laughs> you, yeah, I'm looking at your leg. It looked like fucking Bambi, okay. bro. <laughs> Real quick, Marcos, what yeah. size are those jeans, all right? Uh, they Sorry. are, so these are called Skeletors. It's not a lie. Um, I, am, I am a 29 fucking waist by 31 length. <laughs> the Jack Skellington right. special. <laughs> I technically am 28 by 29, but they don't sell those, so I have to get 20, 28 by what female uh, store did you buy your jeans from? Do you ever go to the kids well, section? Get them online. You know the, the whole lesbian thing, like, it applies to me too, bro, because, like, I got to keep this shit. No, there's only room for one lesbian in this like, podcast. Like, if I, if, I if I don't grow this out, I could get away with parking at the expecting mother <laughs> parking spots without getting questioned whatsoever. Like, oh, yeah, go ahead, ma'am. <laughs> 
my god, that was stupid. Stupid as hell. That was just bad. <laughs> I love telling professional comedians that their their jokes are bad. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like I could do any better. A, Upset a, the established order. Show, yeah. One more thing, we got a, our first music show we're putting together. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> June twenty third at El Garaje. It's gonna be me and our friend Flaco. Uh, my band tomorrow's June. Flaco, Alejandro. Raise um, your hand if you're in tomorrow's June. <laughs> if you're in tomorrow's June. <laughs> We got my band right here. Richmond's own rock band. I don't know if you guys know. Marcos is the lead singer. He's the diva of all of them. <laughs> but we don't care about them if Zach's in the house, okay? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Zach, first of all, I didn't think anyone was going to pick on you aside from us, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, <laughs> I hope you keep coming to our events. Uh, we'll fucking... Calm down Marcos a bit, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Real, he's real. going he's gonna, to like send us some messages and be like, I took back that stream that I... <laughs> <laughs> real quick, Brian. So, uh, the, uh, Zach is in a group called... Uh, no, well, was. He was. Was, was in a group called All-Star Weekend. That's why Marcos is like so in love with Very him. successful. <laughs> I'll, I'll say Very successful, Very successful yeah. group. Yeah. I think I Huge. shared it with you, right? Yeah, I did. <laughs> you guys have been amazing. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys. Where can they find you? Oh, uh, you can find me on uh, Instagram at Corday Major Day. Uh, you can find me on uh, YouTube, same thing. And find me on uh, Facebook at Corday Snell. There you go. Joaquin, where can they find you? Joaquin underscore Xavier on Instagram and every Monday on the Voice Party Podcast. Hell yeah. All right, you guys can find me at Tomorrow's June and at Two Nuts, One Sack. I, also, I have a little side thing that I do. And JD, where can they find you? JD underscore underscore on everywhere, basically. Yeah. Real, real quick, so now you plug your band all of a sudden, huh? <laughs> you can find me at Tomorrow's June. You haven't said your name the whole entire podcast, huh? Now you can find me at my band because I got a show coming up on June 23rd at El Garaje, all right? Now when it's convenient. He's, he's like, sorry, Zach, but real quick, I have to plug this. <laughs> Hey, I love you, Zach, but I had to plug this real quick. You are totally ruining our relationship right now. <laughs> you don't understand. I'm a singer, too. He's like, he's like Zach, if you want to come and make a guest appearance on June 23rd at El Garaje, Dave Chappelle will be there. I will, I, will, I will kick my brother out of the group so you can sing real quick. Hey, hey Sorry, they, don't, they don't have a bass player currently. They don't. They don't. We are looking for a bass player. Mar Marcos, please don't text Zach tonight at 12 a.m., okay? All right? Like, what are you yeah. doing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Qu quit standing outside his room, dude. His fucking bushes are ruined because of you. I can never text him again. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I won't. I'm not going to lie. Was, I've been I, texting Felipe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm pretty sure I ruined that. All right, if you can text Felipe you up, I can text Zach yeah, yeah, you yeah, up, yeah. okay? All right. But he's not trying to have sex with Felipe, though. That's the... <laughs> what? I'm totally not trying to do that. <laughs> he was like, please, I'm not, I'm not trying to. I'm just not trying to. Zach, I'll give you a head start if you want to leave right now. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, we say that's been the voice party. And, and we're, we're out. out.